As a result of climate change, aquatic animals like fish and invertebrates experience warmer water. This animation explains how temperature may affect their growth. Normally, something that speeds up growth, such as more or better food, also results in animals becoming larger as adults. However, temperature effects are different. Under warmer conditions, animals tend to grow faster, but they end up reaching adulthood at a smaller size. This phenomena has been observed so often that it has been termed a rule, the temperature size rule. However, the opposing effects on growth on the one hand and adult size on the other hand have puzzled biologists for more than two decades. Basically, we need something that has opposite effects on small and large animals. One explanation that has been put forward is that oxygen becomes limiting as animals grow, constraining the size they can reach. This idea is supported by the observation that temperature size rule is more pronounced in aquatic animals. For them, oxygen limitation is more likely to occur as it is difficult to breathe underwater. So how would an oxygen mechanism explain the temperature size rule? In small animals, oxygen uptake is hindered by viscosity problems, creating a boundary layer impeding the diffusion of oxygen. Increasing temperatures may alleviate these constraints on oxygen uptake, as warmer water is less viscous. Larger animals are much less hindered by viscosity, but face a different problem. They have a relatively large mass of tissue that requires oxygen. At higher temperatures, more energy, and hence more oxygen, is required to maintain these tissues. Thus, the larger bodies sap their oxygen budget, especially at high temperatures. This leaves them with less oxygen to spend on growth, constraining the size they can reach as adults. We researchers at Nijmegen University tested this idea of oxygen-based mechanisms for the temperature size rule. We did this by rearing aquatic crustaceans to adulthood in both cold and warm water and under a range of oxygen conditions. To account for mortality, we started with 500 animals in each treatment and measured their body length weekly. We found that temperature increased growth rates and decreased adult size, but only in the low oxygen treatment where oxygen limitation was most likely. On top of that, when comparing treatments with the same balance between oxygen supply and demand, water temperature no longer had opposite effects on growth and adult size. Thus, effects of oxygen may resolve the life history puzzle of the temperature size rule in aquatic ectotherms. Body size is a major determinant of how ecosystems work. Our work on how temperature and oxygen affect body size thus puts us in a much better position to predict the consequences of global warming on ecosystems.